Hi, this is the unit. It's right behind me. It's on the ground floor. Some people prefer the ground floor because they don't have to take stairs or an elevator. Once we get inside, this is your view. Kind of goes straight back to the water. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Tile floor in the kitchen. Immediately to the right, you have this sort of like a bar. Has a, um, a wine refrigerator, very nicely done, with wine glasses around and this mirrored back. Just to the right is the laundry. And to have a laundry like this is awesome in, in the unit, so you don't have to go outside. And there's a window out to the parking lot. From the laundry, this kitchen has a lot of nice features. It's slow clothes, it's new cabinetry, it's uh, granite countertops. This is a, a uh, coffee bar. It's a espresso cappuccino maker and a coffee maker. And it's in what uh, we used to call the uh, appliance garage. The appliances are stainless, they're all awesome. It's the Profile Collection from GE. It's very nicely done. Uh, there's a Frigidaire um, microwave. And this refrigerator is the GE. It has multi-function for ice and water. It's a high-level refrigerator. Again, more cabinetry. On this side, there's the sink, and the plumbing looks good. With a, a water filtration system, which I really like for this, for this uh, right here. This uh, is the dishwasher, and I really like the pan. So whoever designed this kitchen, I would just really like the way it's been laid out. Uh, all the drawers. It's just really comfortable being in this kitchen. So, and it's got this center piece that has the refrigerator, but it's all open to the views of the beach. It's kind of hard to see because of uh, how bright it is outside. There's stools by this breakfast nook going into the kitchen. And then there's a dinette area here. And then the living room. This is the only beach that I know of on Isla del Sol. So there really is no beach. And then this bridge that goes right across here that is the bridge, and if you can look, see, if you can see through the bridge to the Don Cesar, that pink hotel is the center of St. Pete Beach. So, um, and it is less, a little less than a mile to go over the bridge from this unit. You can just go straight over that bridge, and then you're in St. Pete Beach. You're right on the, the premier part of St. Pete Beach. And then this is your own little private island that uh, is on Isla. There's wood floors in the living room here. Ceiling fan. And then this is a, a door into the master suite. We'll go into the bathroom in a minute. The door in the master, very heavy, full on uh, hurricane door with this patio that, you know, the living room's right over there. And this is a little bit of paradise. So back inside, these wood floors, looks like engineered hardwood floors. Um, there is a blackout curtain, blackout curtain, makes it totally dark in here, which is convenient. If you're trying to get some sleep, this is like a completely added feature that completely added feature that isn't in most units. Hardwood floors. Here's the walk-in closet. Pretty spacious with hooks for hats and stuff. 
And here's the master bathroom. Granted again, very nice cabinetry. Plumbing looks really good. And then um, there is, so this is a little kind of like a 1980s, or maybe a 90s tub, a circular tub in the master. Someday you might want to change that, but it is a shower and you can, you can take a shower in there. Um, and then there's a mirror in the, in the corridor outside for dressing. And then walking back from the main living area through the kitchen, just to the right of the entry door is the guest bathroom and the guest bedroom, wood floors again. They set this up like an office, and then they also uh, used this closet as the owner's closet. So then the owner could lock this, and then you put sort of like your own personal stuff in the owner's closet, so that when you come here, you, you have your own stuff in the owner's closet. And then um, this is the guest bathroom. Looks good. Again, um, and this has a regular glass door shower in the guest bathroom, same tile as the kitchen. And on this side is the hot water tank and the uh, HVAC system. Got a little umbrella in here. This is some detail in the hot water tank. Um, there's an installation manual, looks like it's dated for 2017, so it looks like it's in, and it looks like it's in very good shape. This looks like super brand new. We can find out the date on that. I love the Nest system. This is awesome. Um, automated, you can even change it from your home. I really like the switches throughout. Uh, they have uh, these dimmer switches and um, it's just everything's been done really well in here from the faucets, the sink, the switches, the heating and air conditioning, the thermostat, the appliances. Everything is really well done in this place. Uh, here's the a detail on the uh, little ceiling fan in the kitchen. So here's what it's like outside. These doors are completely solid hurricane doors. There's a cabinet for your beach materials. Little sitting area. But you can walk straight out. This is a little grassy walk to this beach. And then this is the unit. It's right there on the ground floor. And then this is the beach. And that is access out to the Gulf of Mexico in that direction. This is the trail that goes underneath the bridge. Boats come through here, as you can see. And then uh, this trail leads up to the golf course and that's that's basically where you're going to get on from the edge of the bridge and take it all the way up to go to st pete beach this is the private beach and then this is your unit which is on the ground floor right there in the middle the other thing is that even the outside patio which is normally just bare concrete they tiled it as well and then there's sheer curtains as well in both the bedroom and in the living room just for privacy there's a lot to like about this place just let me know what you think